Bon anit. Um, good, good evening. Um, I, as, as I think be, you know, I'm going to read three poems uh, of, of, of uh, W.H. Auden, and uh, Marta is going to read her translations of them. Que bé que està molt honorada de llegir poemes de, de Winston Hugh Auden, W, W, H, ah, sí. uh, Auden. Sí. I translate you. Yes, thank you. If thank I can. You. Yes, because it will, yes. In memory of W.B. Yeats, he disappeared in the dead of winter. The brooks were frozen. The airports almost deserted. The snow disfigured the public statues. The mercury sank in the mouth of the dying day. What instruments we have agree the day of his death was a dark, cold day. Far from his illness, the wolves ran on through the evergreen forests. The peasant river was untempted by the fashionable keys. By mourning tongues, the death of the poet was kept from his poems. But for him it was his last afternoon as himself, an afternoon of nurses and rumors. The provinces of his body revolted. The squares of his mind were empty. Silence invaded the suburbs. The current of his feeling failed. He became his admirers. Now he is scattered among a hundred cities and wholly given over to unfamiliar affections to find his happiness in another kind of wood and be punished under a foreign code of conscience. The words of a dead man are modified in the guts of the living. But in the importance and noise of tomorrow, when the brokers are roaring like beasts on the floor of the bourse, and the poor have the sufferings to which they are fairly accustomed, and each in the cell of himself is almost convinced of his freedom. A few thousand will think of this day, as one thinks of a day when one did something slightly unusual. What instruments we have agree. The day of his death was a dark, cold day. Aquesta és la meva versió. Uh, William Butler Yeats en homenatge. Va desaparèixer el pic de l'hivern, gelats els rierols, gairebé deserts els aeroports. La neu desfigurava les estàtues públiques. El mercuri es va ofegar a la boca del dia morent. Tota mena d'instruments al nostre abast acorden que el dia de la seva mort va ser un dia fosc i fred. Lluny de la seva malaltia, els llops corrien per forestes perennes. El riu Camperol no sentia la temptació dels monys de moda. A través de llengües endolades s'amagava la mort del poeta als seus poemes. Per ell, però, va ser la darrera tarda com a persona. Una tarda d'infermeres i rumors. Les províncies del seu cos es revoltaven, les places de la seva ment eren buides, el silenci envaïa els suburbis, el curs dels seus sentits fallava, ja era els seus admiradors. Avui està repartit per cent ciutats i totalment abocat a pocs familiars efectes, a ser feliç en una altra mena de bosc i ser castigat sota un codi foraster de consciència. Els mots d'un home mort canvien a les entranyes dels vius. En la transcendència i el brugit de demà, però, quan els brokers bramin com bèsties el parquet de la borsa i els pobres pateixin els patiments a què estan prou avesats i cadascú a la cel·la pròpia es convenci gairebé de la seva llibertat, uns pocs milers pensaran en aquell dia, com pensem en el dia que van fer una cosa desacostumada. Tota mena d'instruments al nostre abast acorden que el dia de la seva mort va ser un dia fosc i fred. Gràcies. 